Hello, my peeps. How is everybody doing today? It has been, I think, a full week and a bit since I have done a live, and it's very exciting to be back doing one now. I'm just uh, going to give it a minute for everybody to catch on and for me to get everything going the way I want to do. I wish you could get it all set up and then hit live, but unfortunately, you have to like do a few things, go live, and then do the last couple. So just trying to make the comments show up. So here's the fun part of last week. I was catching up on all sorts of things and I, I got a major project done, which was just like such a weight off me. Uh, still have lots to do, still not 100% caught up. I doubt I will be. I think I have to readjust what I think of as caught up. Um, I got lots done, that was good. And amidst all of the doings, I had a note come up on my computer saying, that up my there was gonna it, okay I had the option to switch from Windows 10 to Windows 11, and that if I declined, the next reminder I got would be I think it was like April of 2025. <laughs> it was years from now, and I thought, okay, there's no way I'll just remember on my own to go do it. And am I gonna have issues? And my computer had been kind of glitchy, anyways. I, I'm hoping the camera will stay for the entire thing. Let's let's hope so. Um, I test things and it works and then I go live and it doesn't. So who knows? Um, so I, I actually sat there like just staring at the computer as I'm trying to shut it down one night to decide, should I say yes? Should I say no? Should I say yes? Should I say no? And finally, I just thought, oh, just jump in. So I hit yes. I'm like, okay, go. So now my computer's just been slow. But I also have lots of people in town are commenting on a certain provider that it's slow. So I think maybe everything needs a shutdown and a restart. And so um, the, the fun with technology never ends. That's the point of my story. Because, <laughs> you know, every now and again, my, my story has a point. Okay. So today I have a bit of a PSA for you. <laughs> uh, public service announcement for those that, I think, I don't know, is PSA still a, a term? Um, there is, there's always so much going on in the Stampin' Up! world. And I tend to, share the, the, my favorite parts, the people and the stuff you make. <laughs> but there's lots of deals going on as well. And there's that credit supply chain that's affecting supply of, of items coming in. There are some markets, poor Australia, this celebration brochure that we have that is like full of all these goodies. Um, they apparently have two things out of it because of their, they've had a couple of years worth. I'm not, I'm not sure what the whole story is, but they've had some issues with supply chain. So it, it goes from being, you know, some stuff's out, you gotta wait a bit for it to major interruptions and having to extend things. And so I'm always leery about that. So we're coming into a period where things are gonna start retiring and like one catalog's going and different things are happening, which, which tends to impact the availability of product to begin with in a normal year. But given that this is anything but a normal year, um, it's gonna be even worse. So I wanna make sure that if, you, if there's something you want, you know, so you can get it. Hello, Tamara. Um, so this is, that, that's the PSA portion of today's project is, or broadcast. And then I promise you, <laughs> what is in this envelope? Oh, is very appropriate for today. I, and I'm waiting to see how many of you guys know what today is without me telling you. Um, <laughs> it's very appropriate for today. It's also super cute. And then based on a comment with said Tamara, who just popped on, um, yesterday made me think afterwards, oh my gosh, did I like make a major what the heck? So, but we'll get to that. Cliffhanger, you gotta all stay tuned for that one. That's gonna be exciting. Okay, so as you know, celebration is going on. It's a good time during celebration to stock up on stuff. <laughs> I know it, it's Tamara's stamp anniversary. That's the big, it's a, it's a national holiday because um, we're all just so grateful that she chose this. Um, so celebration is a great time to stock up because, because for every $60 or a multiple of $60, you get free stuff. And there's some awesome stuff in here. I'm not a huge rainbow person, but this paper, which I made my cards with last week, is just so fun and so cheery. And there's, so it's just happy, right? If you like rainbows, it's just happy. But if you need a card for, uh, to show support to an LGBTQ2 person. Um, if you need something perhaps for a rainbow baby, 
Um, there was another rainbow one. Oh, uh, the rainbow bridge for pets. Um, not uh, the last two I, I get are not, well, two of them are great, I guess. The, the, the rainbow bridge one is not necessarily the best thing. But if you're trying to give comfort or a little smile to somebody, um, this is just like the perfect paper for it. I think it's awesome. So yeah, there's lots of cool things. Anyway, so six, this marvelous, marvelous paper and these adorable little otters, mm, just too cute. So anyways, there's tons of good stuff in here that you can get, right? So for every $60, 120, 180, just keeps going. Lots of things you can do. So a lot of people tend to pick this time and celebration only goes till the end of February. Pick this time to stock up. <laughs> So there's, there's lots of things you can stock up on. Card stock, adhesives, um, stamp sets, and all those things you need. But even if you think, oh, I have everything I need, now is the perfect time <laughs> to stock up on all those other things because it will get you free pretty stuff. Um, we have an entire mini catalog that is that the products in here go till June. Um, there are some stuff that's that sold out and is back ordered. And I mean, we're gonna be dealing with that with everything, I think. Um, I think in the company, they put out another thing, like updating everybody on supply chain, the dreaded supply chain. And I think the expectation with a lot of people in any kind of business, you know, that involves shipping is we're looking into next year, like midway through next year, I think, um, before we start to see all of this stuff sort itself out. It's, it, there's so much. It's not just, oh, it was a COVID thing. It was a COVID thing. It was that guy that got stuck in the canal. It was, it's not enough workers, not enough containers, not enough boats. Not a, like it's a, it's a much bigger issue. It's the factories that make the stuff that had converted that haven't converted back that are also short of workers, and it's a big thing. So, lots of so we still have time to get lots of stuff out of this catalog. You might just end up waiting for stuff now and again. A celebration, like I said, only goes till the end of February. So that one you want to get on soon. I don't think, maybe Tamara could, uh, third quarter of 2023. You want to know what's really sad? So Tamara's trying to help me out there by saying third quarter. So here's what I have to do. January, February, March, April, May, June. Okay, so that's June because I know October, November, December. So every time somebody says quarter, I actually have to put my hand out and go, okay, October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May, June to figure out the quarters. Yep, sad but true. Um, Totally, totally derailed myself there with my counting on my hand. Um, the uh, if Tamara can tell me, sorry, now I'm back on track. Um, I don't know if any of the celebration stuff has sold out. I don't think so. Here's the thing though, just because it hasn't sold out today doesn't mean that five minutes from now it won't be sold out because that seems to be how it goes lately. But at any, yeah, there's so much good stuff in here and, and one never knows how long it will last. Here's the other thing though, the annual catalog, which again, mine has coils. They don't normally come with this, but if you flip it open as many times in a day as I do. Okay, good. So nothing is sold out yet. Everything is still there, but for how long one never really knows. <laughs> and I don't say that to like fear monger or anything. It just, it just is. Um, you know, totally distracted me before, apart from the counting on my fingers, is I just realized that on my display, and I'm, I'm going to assume on your display, I have the picture of me up in the corner Hi, um, I have this the desk, which is what I wanted. And then I seem to have a second desktop mini display going on that I'm not really sure how that got there. Anyway, so that totally <laughs> distracted me. But, um, and yes, my son just walked in because he's homesick today, but he's on the mend and all is good. And uh, yes, I'm live. Okay, so this catalog is the annual catalog. So this catalog at the end of April, um, a whole bunch of stuff is going to retire out of this catalog. So sometime in the middle of March, towards the end of March, they're going to send out a list and they're going to tell you, here's the stuff that's retiring. Here's the stuff that's staying. And some stuff might be on sale. So covering your face is the red light button. Oh, <laughs> well, how convenient is that? <laughs> if you don't like to be on camera, you just put a live button above your face. See, on mine, it's, it's above. It's not over. Uh -huh. I'm going to fix that later. If I try to do it now, I think I will just risk too much screwing up. So uh, I won't fix that now. Okay. So this catalog is going to retire. A bunch of stuff's going to go. Now, now it's a fun game to guess what is going to stay and what is going to go. Um, but we don't actually know until we see the list. There are, however, a couple guaranteed things that are going to go. And those are the things that people are going to tend to stock up on while you can. And what better time to stock up on stuff? Now, some people will wait to see if they go on sale. 
And I'm not sure that in color stuff ever actually goes on sale because it sells so well. Why, why would you need to put it on sale? Um, so some people will wait to see if stuff goes on sale, but other people will go, nope, I'm going to stock up on the stuff I want or the stuff that I absolutely have to have. Well, I can still get it when I can get free stuff to go with it. So those are your choices. But <clears throat> today we're going to learn a little bit about stepping up colors. <laughs> I usually just talk about colors and, and what after I started stepping up, fun, fun side fact, um, every time I look at a color now, like I don't see beige, I see crumb cake. That's not crumb cake. Where's crumb cake in here? Crumb cake's over here. Um, these are the blends. Oh, love the blends. New, new exciting things coming out there. So this is what I see, right? I see crumb cake. And somebody will say, oh, look at the red car go by. And in my brain, I think, was that real red? Is that poppy parade? Or is that cherry cobbler? Because in my head, those are the three colors of red. Oh, and Nicole is joining us now. I didn't even see your face. You look like a mass superhero. Okay. I am a stamping superhero. So there we go. The live, I am a live stamping superhero. <laughs> oh, I don't know if it's better or worse that I now actually look at the comments while I do these things. <laughs> you guys judge. So anyways, Stampin' Up! has <laughs> some color families as they are called. Brights, neutrals, regals, subtles, basics. Okay, so these, and these, and these are just groups of colors that are the same, I think it's tones would be the right word. And, and so generally, I mean, I think color is uh, subjective. You can put whatever you think goes together, together, squirrel, total squirrel. Um, and it's whatever works for you. I think that's how art works. But if you're unsure of yourself, these colors are all ones that you could mix and match that would coordinate better. Stampin' Up! is genius at the color coordination. They are genius at, at knowing what color trends are and picking them and stuff like that. So if all else fails and you're not sure, trust the Trust what they the work they've done for you. So there's these are the color families that are out that are available all the time. Eh, we'll get to a what's it called a color refresh every now and again, and I think it's like five years or something. It's been a while since the last one, and I, and honestly, I'm hoping there's another one because a couple of the colors I don't want them to ever go away, so I want them to come in. So these are colors, but I digress. These are colors that are available all the time. These colors down here are the in color collection. Hello, Bernice. Cloudy Oak and Ogden. See, it finally the, the cloud actually just came back just before I started doing this. It was kind of cloudy, and I've been totally fascinated watching the graders and the front end loaders and the little whatever the machine is that blows the snow from the pile in the middle into the back of the truck. Um, and I've been watching them on my street all day, and I've just been so excited. And then just before I was going to start, um, the sun came out from behind the clouds and it was like shining straight in on my on my face and I thought okay the sun will help with the snow situation but at the same time it's blinding me so I think I'm a fan of cloudy now <laughs> but I'm glad you tuned in Marisa very nice uh let's see okay in colors so the in color, there's two sets of in colors at any given time and they're, they're like the olympics they're offset on and of course, floor mats. they're offset by a year. So in 2020, we all remember 2020. In 2020, these five colors came out. Cinnamon cider, love cinnamon cider. Don't ever want to see it go. It is the perfect color for gingerbread. Just Jade, beautiful green. Bumblebee, nice deep yellow. Magenta Madness, hot pink. And Misty Moonlight, another color I don't ever want to see go. It is a, a smoky blue. Is my description of it. Dusty blue? I don't know. So these five colors came in in 2020 and they had some cardstock ink, they had ribbons, they had little embellishments, say some of the designer paper had these colors in them. Now, when this annual catalog retires, this end of April, these colors all retire. So that's how in colors, in colors work. We know that these ones are going. Now, last year, when the annual catalog came out, these five came in. These are gorgeous colors. I love these colors. And these two right here, Evening Evergreen and Soft Succulent, are two of the ones I don't ever, ever want to see go away. Now, Cinnamon Cider and Misty Moonlight, there's a chance they might come back. Other, other in colors have like gone away, and then when they do the refresh, they come back. But there's no guarantee of that. These ones have another year, right? These ones will go till 2023. So if these are your favorite colors and you're stocking up, you're good. But these five colors, come April, you're not going to be able to get the stuff. So... If you have an ink pad, make sure you have a re-inker. If you love that color so much, you, you're going to use it for the rest of your life, make sure you have two re-inkers. 
Um, if you want the blends that go with it, make sure you have blends, however many blacks you think you need. Um, there's a, a, probably a limit on lifetime on how long a blend would last, but um, the cardstock. Um, if there's your favorite DSP, yeah, see, Nicole's with me on the Misty Moonlight. Misty Moonlight is a nice blue. We have lots of light blues and we have a gorgeous navy blue. I love navy blue. And this one is in the middle. This one is just, and it, like I said, it's a smoky, I don't know, love it. But I digress. So these five, people are gonna start stocking up on them now. And then as soon as people start realizing it's getting closer to the time when this catalog retires, they're, they're gonna start getting more of them. <laughs> and then if they do happen to have any left, when they announce their retiring list and they post it and they say, okay, here, if there's any kind of a sale that anybody's been waiting for, that day by noon or even sooner, a bunch of this stuff will have sold up. Guaranteed happens every year. <laughs> so in colors, good time to stock up during celebration. Um, there, like I said, there's lots of stuff um, that is in. I, I think I mentioned this and I can't remember it happened before Christmas, but I can't remember exactly November, I want to say. Um, when they changed it so that you couldn't um, back order your stuff now, right? So now you either order it and it's available or you go to order it, it's not available and you just have to wait. So you don't want to get to that stage again because you could play on the back orders before and just include it and know that, okay, it'll eventually get here. We don't have that option anymore. It's either it's there or it's not. And some of these things are getting close enough to the end of their catalog run that if it's not there, it's not coming back. So... This is my PSA for you today in colors. <laughs> um, I have a whole bunch of sheets because I was very last minute getting my other stuff done. I pushed them all off to the side and now I don't know where they went. Because <laughs> I didn't remind you of all these other things that were going on. Now I don't know where they went. <laughs> I could show you this one. This is the one I'm looking for, but I'm looking for the one that doesn't have all the writing all over it. Um, I just wanted to remind everybody of all the fun stuff we have going on. So the paper pumpkin um, add-on boxes, which mine are supposed to arrive sometime today. And I'm going into a little bit of withdrawal because I haven't actually had an order come in a bit. My paper pumpkin got delayed and my other order is supposed to be here today. And they haven't shown up yet. And I'm like, I haven't had a like good box to open in a while. But the little, the little X and O adorable um, add-on boxes, uh, those are still available. I am actually putting in an order tonight. I have a couple of customer things going on and I'm putting an order in tonight. So if you want to get in on shared shipping, you want to get some of those adorable boxes, which I was really hoping I'd be able to show you during this live. Um, those are still available. We have a new set of blends coming out. Uh, there's, actually a, there's actually a few things and I'll have to post the stuff afterwards because I have no idea what I did with those pages. Um, there's a stamp set, a set of dies, some new designer paper that are all it's called all together and it's all about inclusivity um, and there's some lots of hearts and hands and cool stuff and then there's a set of blends that come with them and the blends are the alcohol markers that are so good to color with and those have um it's just over 60 dollars is what the set is worth and i want to say there's five pairs i think there seriously i totally lost my sheet of paper and now i'm lost but Anyways, let's just go with, they're all different colors that can either represent skin tone or very cool brown beige shades to color all the different animals. Now, let's just say I make a lot of forest cards and a lot of animal cards, and I'm looking forward to them for both the people that I can color better and the animals that I can color better with these uh, new blends. So they're gonna be available to people on the 1st of February. If you are interested in the blends, and I'm gonna tag on, I haven't figured out all the details yet because I have to try to figure out how we can do it with just whatever stamp set people have. Um, but if you wanna do a little Zoom where we practice coloring with blends and you get some of the tips and tricks for blends, that will come later in February once we know for sure that people have some blends. But um, I'm taking pre-orders. So if you're interested in these other blends, because <clears throat> that magic number, of 65, I'm pretty sure it's 65. And if I said, if I could find my piece of paper, um, that gets you a free celebration item. So that's gonna, if people aren't gonna wait on ordering those when they first come in, cause they're gonna wanna get them when they can get the celebration item. So that's gonna speed up the, the ordering. So I'm taking pre-orders for those. 
And then once I know how many people it is and what we're what kind of stamp sets everybody's working with, we'll figure out how we're going to do a little like colored together thing. So we have blends, we have boxes. Um, there is the the new birthday candle set, um, light a candle, the birthday card kit. It seems to come and stop, go out of stock uh, as the supplies are coming in. So uh, um, I am always checking. So if anybody wants to get that kit, let me know so I can watch for it. And then I'm, I'm optimistic. I'm, I'm super optimistic um, that the 19th of March, we're going to stamp together in person. So my good friend Tamara and I are having a spring extravaganza and it involves a couple different suites of products. You're making 10 projects that can be used for Mother's Day, Father's Day, Easter, or just cool springish theme. Uh, there's some masculine, some feminine type things. Um, and for $75, you get all of, sorry, for $70, you get $75 worth of all the consumables you need to make all the projects and have leftovers. And then the use of our time and our talents to help you make them all with our stamp sets and dies and stuff like that. And you get to do it in beautiful downtown Normville at the cultural center. Um, but yeah, in person. Now we have a backup plan should, you know, things go sideways, but I'm watching the numbers and the case numbers are going down and things are going down and spring is coming and all is good. <laughs> I am optimistic that we are stamping together in March. <clears throat> now, as it stands already, even um, we can't stamp right now, but um, they, they, the vaccination and the masks and the distancing are what's making it so we can do it right now. So yay, we're gonna stamp together in the spring and it's gonna be beautiful. Um, and in spring, it's okay if it rains, unlike in the winter. So yeah, spring, everything's coming up tulips. <laughs> okay, so wanna know what's in here? Wanna know what's in here? Um, Nicole or Bernice, do you guys know what today is? Other than the 25th of Jan January and Tamara's stamp anniversary, do you know what today is? Okay, seriously, I have so much stuff in progress on my desk that I have nowhere to put my catalog now. Well, Tamara, you already told me you knew what it was. I was just seeing if anybody else knew what it was. Now, <laughs> I was making this project. I made this project once before, and, and this is the funny part that I'm gonna ask you a question about. But then when I went to make it, I realized the last time I made it, <clears throat> I didn't actually write anything down. And all I did was I saw a demonstrator years ago, like we're talking probably six or seven years ago, had made this project. And I looked at it and I'm like, I can make that. So I just I just figured it out and made it work. Um, to, and it was, a, it was a gift card holder for my brother for his birthday. Very good, Nicole. Um, so, it was, it was for my brother's birthday. So then I thought, oh, this is the perfect card to show you, or the perfect project to show you today. But then I realized because I didn't write anything down, I had to go figure it all out again. So, so far, these are the instructions. And as you can tell, I had a little bit of trouble with the inside piece at first, um, but I will put it on my, my, um, my blog that comes out on Saturday morning. It'll have pictures and instructions and everything. I'll redo it with all that kind of stuff. Um, and I'm trying to keep this one to half an hour. So Outlander taught you all the three. Crabby Bernstein. I don't do a very good Scottish accent. I really shouldn't try. I do my ancestors a disjustice when I try. Um, disjustice? Injustice when I try. Okay, so. Can I buy you? Okay, so here's the funny thing, Tamara. I have paper all over my desk. I have a notepad right here. Okay, it, it, it's like six inches from where I was working. <laughs> but no, I grab a scrap of cardstock that I cut off and I start scrawling on there. Why? I don't know. Waste not, want not. It's the Scotsman in me, I guess. Waste not, want not. Um, okay, so here we go. Ah! What's it say? <laughs> okay, so here's my little kilt. And when you open it up, there's a gift card in it. So, and this one, it's a little crooked here, so I, but it says, you're just like coffee. You make everything better with the little coffee thing here. Now, as I went to make this, I normally have like three different gift cards sitting in my, my little tool thing so I can make sure that things fit. They're all just used gift cards. Um, I usually have a Starbucks one 
for whatever reason, I had a gas, uh, like a Petrochem one. And then I had this like little MasterCard one. So it would have been perfect if I could have found the Starbucks one, but I think I actually put it in a sample of something and never took it out until it's somewhere. Um, isn't that cute though? Yeah. Okay. So here's today's lesson. Um, when I made this for my brother originally, I thought it was so cute. We had a birthday stamp with the pretty sure guitar that said, you deserve everything wonderful for your birthday and coffee. So I had stamped and coffee on here, but I put the you deserve everything for your birthday on this piece of paper. And then I stuck the gift card in. So when you opened it up, I had written up here, happy birthday, love you, you know, on this piece. And on this piece, all you saw was and coffee. <laughs> so this is what they see when the gift card is in. So here's part one of what you want to say. And then if you want to write something else down here, that's fine. And then underneath the gift card is where you write, happy birthday, you're the greatest brother ever, right? Okay. So when I was telling Tamara last night when I was chatting, and I said something about um, making one of these and that this would be the perfect one to make for today. Um, and, and that you lift the kilt up to get to the thing, right? Because that's the big joke about kilts. And she said something like racy or something. And then it really got me thinking was, should I have not given that to my brother? Because <laughs> at no point did I ever consider lifting up my brother's guilt. Let's just be, you know, 100% clear there. It's just that that's what you think of when you think of kilts. And it was just such a cute kilt card. So did I overthink that too much? <laughs> or is this just a cute card that you can give to anybody who appreciates anything Scottish or the Scottish sense of humor? Because it's super adorable. <laughs> and you can't, I'm, I'm seeing now you can't really see. It is pleats, which you can see in person. You can see them if you lift the end. You can see the pleats. And what I will tell you is this is the backside of the Christmas paper. <laughs> that is this plaid. But I did find that we have, and I was going to make one out of uh, crumb cake, just out of curiosity. Because I thought, I wonder what this would look like. Because you used to the um, cartons being so, like such bold colors all the time. But when I went to Scotland, many moons ago, and I toured everything, and I saw every bit of Scottish history, I could, oh, I just ate it up. And I, in the bottom of the castle in Edinburgh, they had a huge kilt shop, and in it, they had samples of, I don't know how many hundreds of tartans. And there are tartans of every color, and there are tartans that are as simple as this page, <laughs> this crumb cake, right? This is a very subtle plaid when you, when you hold it down here, you can't even really tell. Um, and then there are like bright ones and there are ones and there are other ones that um, they, they're just some of the oddest color choices, let's put it that way. Um, yeah, there's so many different colors. But anyways, we do have a set of paper in, in remember how I showed in the catalog those the, the different color families. Well, each one of those color families has a little package of paper. It has a couple different patterns in it. And the current one has this little plaid in it. So there is... 50 different, no, 40 different colors of plaid that you can get out of there. They're all one color. If you want to get super creative and you have the time, you could add to it with your blends or with your markers, you can add different colors. But it also looks pretty cool just in a single color. Um, if you want to get really technical, you can find your family plaid. My, the Stuart part, well, I should have had some, like, Lord knows I own a lot of Stuart chart and I should have had some in here today. Um, is all to me is Christmas colors. It's red with like green and yellow and black. It is awesome. Um, so yeah, pick a plaid. It does not matter which one. If you want to hand do it, if you have the old plaid builder dies, you might be able to piece together some plaid. Um, the trick to this, and I'm going to show you in, when I write down all the measurements, is the same as uh, in real life. This, this uh, gift card holder is only two and three quarter inches wide. Right. In order to make this work and to get the little bit of a flare to the bottom of the kilt, um, this piece of DSP is six and a half inches wide. <laughs> so that is realistic to a real kilt. A real kilt is like reams of fabric that they that they pleat as they go and they roll into. So you need a much wider piece. I used the um, it was a twelve by twelve that I cut down and ended up being six and a half. The ones that come in these sets are only six. So I think you could do it. You just you might just have to fuss with the the, um, the pleats a little bit. Or I did have the thought that you could cut it on a diagonal, and it would probably work. 
So I will do a little bit more playing before I, I do my blog post and see if I can enlighten anybody. But yes, it's a very simple card where we complete this. Uh, the little sporin was just freehanded. Same as the belts is just a strip of paper. And then yes, ta-da. Anyways, it makes me very happy. <laughs> And, and it does stand up afterwards, so you can have it set on the desk if you need to. Oh, look at that, 331, I went over. So, to recap, happy Robert Burns Day, uh, Scottish or otherwise. Enjoy your day. Um, if you need anything from the catalog, I am putting in an order this evening. If you need any in colors, I say don't wait. <laughs> um, the other side, the other side, here, I'm gonna put this in here because now I got nothing on the table. Um, the other side of the whole in color story is it is very exciting to guess the next in colors. Um, I guess I realize now Stampin' Up! people are, you just, I mean, everything is, it's always there in the back of your mind, I guess. Uh, periwinkle and a really cool, you know the color of cars that are orange? What's a good description for that? It's, it's kind of a burnt orange, but it's a little, it's not quite as dark as that, um, are two colors that I've seen that are in the pan tones. I think that's the right word. Um, so whoever gets to decide what the hot colors are gonna be, those are two of the colors that I keep seeing sneak peeks of. So, so now we speculate on what the new in colors coming out in the new catalog are gonna be. And potentially we're getting ourselves a cool new dark orange, which I like the idea of. And um, the periwinkle is kind of a bluish purple. So that's all good. Um, purple stays with the Scottish theme too. If you've ever been to Scotland, you will see the purple, the color of Heather everywhere you go. So um, thank you guys all for joining me for, for today's uh, PSA and mm, kilt. Um, I uh, really appreciate it. And if I can help you with anything, please let me know. I will be back on, oh, sorry, I gotta pause there for a minute because all of a sudden I forgot what day it was. Today is Tuesday. I will be back on a Thursday night. Hopefully I will be able to show you my cute little uh, kisses and hugs boxes and my paper pumpkin kit because they, with any luck, will be here by then. <laughs> so Highland Heather. Oh, I know, Highland Heather, right? Um, thank God that's in the, in the family. We don't have to worry about that one going away for a while. So, all right, peeps. Thanks for joining me. I will see you on Thursday night. I'll have a couple other posts and such out in between. Um, as always, it has been very fun and have an awesome Tuesday. Happy Robbie Burns Day. <laughs>